which is an instrument that scientists use to measure the speed of the wind. In the kit, you'll find um, a number two pencil, and there should be a thumbtack in the end of it. You have two straws and four cups. Some of the things that you're gonna need from home are tape, and then I'm using a stapler to attach the cups to the straws, but you can also try tape or anything else like that. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take our cup and our straw, and we're going to attach it sideways like this to the end of the straw. Um, when you do this, um, as you're putting all the cups on the end of the straws, you want all of your cups to be facing the same direction. I think in the um, directions that you have, it says the opposite direction because that's when it's on the same straw, they'll be facing the opposite way, but in terms of catching the wind, they're all facing the same direction. So we're gonna try stapling this guy, see how it goes. This is when you might want some help from an adult so that you don't staple your fingers. Um, yeah. So, mine is like that. It's a little bit off, but I think that we should be good in terms of having just enough stability to get us going. So we'll do this with the rest of them. We have um, our four cups on the end here. You see they're all going to catch the wind from the same side. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an X with the straws or a cross. Um, and uh, I'm going to tape mine down. Um, and what you'll end up doing is you'll be putting the middle of where they intersect um, through the um, point of the thumbtack and then into the top of your pencil. So basically all you're trying to do is create some structure here. So I may try and put my thumbtack through them like this and I'm going to go into my eraser now. Um, and you want to make sure that it's down firm but not so far that um, the cups can't spin because the whole point is we're going to measure wind but as you can see if we don't stabilize our intersection here um, they're all just going to kind of crash together so that's how what we're going to use the tape for to make sure that these guys stay in the shape that we want them to some structure there. Um, I squished my straws down a little bit when I was doing that just to make sure that they stayed in the right spot. So now I'm going to loosen that back up a little bit so that they can spin. And then hopefully like this. So what you'll do is you'll on a nice windy day you'll take this outside and you'll hold it up and the wind will catch the cups and make them spin. Um, one of the big things though is you want to be able to measure um, the revolutions per minute or RPMs as we call them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my cups and I'm going to put a mark on the outside of it. Mine's just going to be a black dot. Um, that's easy to see. And so then uh, what I can do is I'll start with this towards me and then as it spins I'm going to count how many times it comes around to me in a minute and that will give me my RPMs. So hopefully we have some nice windy days coming up and we can become scientists and measure the speed of the wind. Have fun!